Hey fans, welcome to another moment with Anne and I'm your real estate expert that can help you get the kind of property you need. Okay, so today I want to answer a very important question a lot of my clients have been asking me. Anne, do you also invest at Ibejuleki? Do you also have your own investment in Lagos or are you just selling? And um, today I'll just be sharing with you my true life experience as regards to my first investment and i'll also share with you how much i've gone far as regards to investment okay so i may not give you the full details right but i would definitely open up a lot more that i can to you so that you can understand the basis of investment and what you should actually look at i also make several mistakes as a first-time investor so for me i need to share my own view with you because you've got to learn from me and uh, don't just say oh she's an expert i've i've also made my own mistake as regards to my own investment so you've got to watch this video and understand one or two things and learn one or two things and also drop comments below now if you're new here please hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post right on the hata tv and if you're a subscriber thank you you for coming back you mean so much to me <laughs> okay so let's go back to what we have to say today now a lot of clients have been asking me and do you also have investment at Ibejuleki? do you also have investment in lagos now i get questions like this from clients who don't live in nigeria and it's always good you open up a lot of more things to them okay now while i was much younger my mom bought a land at Ikorodu and um, at that time she bought the land at Ikorodu a friend also bought the same price of land at Awoyaya they all bought two two plots and for my mom at her own self she got two plots at Ikorodu in different locations and the friend got two plots at Awoyaya in the same location then after a few years we tried selling the plot guess what the friend sold Aya on the island than ah on the mainland and for the one she's actually living we actually built a house on it we built like a two bedroom with um a visitor's toilet right on that plot and we also built some things in front like shops and um, we also made a mini flat right in that front up for rent okay the mini flat i just completed it like two years ago and it's been up for rent and we rented it for 120,000 per year. Now guess what? A mini flat in Aja currently is going for 400k or 500k. And it's the same material eh, that I used to build that mini flat at Ikorodu. It's the same material that I would have still used to build the same material, uh, the same um, apartment in Aja if I had chosen to buy maybe a land in Nigeria, even if it was an half plot and built something on it. Now, I wouldn't say it's a pure ruler mistake, but what? guess what will happen? The property will take a lot of time before I will make my money off it, okay? Because that mini flat alone, I think I spent about 1.9 million euros at then to build it because I use a lot of good and lovely materials to complete that particular place. And if you will ask me again, and how long will it take you to make your money out so let's assume in i use up to like two million naira to finish up that place then can you calculate how many 120k that i will get how many years before i will make that money out but guess what if i had had a land in on the island let's assume my mom's land was actually on the island when a friend was buying and i decided that okay i want to use this front side to build a mini flat what do you think will happen to my money in four five years i should be making the money i used to build it out true or false of course it's true so that is one mistake i made as regards to buying real estate you know and um, that's why because i didn't consult um a lot more people i was much younger you know and i didn't consult a lot more i just believed that this location should be good for me because i had my cousins living around that area okay but um thank god for getting enlightened thank god for 
um, for me, being exposed to the realities of investment is not just about you buying a land, but buying a land in a location whereby if you decide to say, okay, I want to just buy half, right? Then you don't have anything to worry. It's just half, 300 square meter. And I want to build so, so thin on it. In the front, I want to remove a shop for rent. Or at the back, I want to build like a mini flat that I want to give for rent. Now, you will just sit in your house, in your front side as a landlord, eh? And be enjoying your front side. While well, you are collecting rent from the back side, you can see that these things, it's all about being smart, okay? Now, for you to be a smart investor in Lagos, you've got to realize that there are some tricks and techniques you need to know about investment, okay? So you've got to be talking to the right person. If you're not talking to the right person, you may end up investing your money into where your money will be tied down. And for me, I work so hard for money. Trust me. <laughs> I work really hard for money. So I'm not really interested in just buying a property to suit anybody. But buying a property to ensure that I get the best return on that property. Buying a property knowing fully well that it's really going to appreciate. That's what should come to your mind. Okay, so I'm doing this video because I really want to open up a lot more things to you and um, so that if you really want to invest, you can come back to this video at any point of time in your life you really want to invest and watch it. You can call, type in at to our TV or and Wakama or you can Google my name, get my number and call me directly or WhatsApp me because you've got to be investing in the into the right investment if you really really want to make money out of it at a later date now you can say okay no i just want to buy the land and build my own personal house guess what there may come a time especially if it's one plot you will be tempted <laughs> by the time the land start yielding or you are hearing how people's property have been yielding so much and rentage has gone up a lot of things are really increasing and your landed property you are looking at it that wow i can actually divide this one plot into half build on the half and build on the other half for rent or probably lease it for for some years then take it back so you've got to understand some very very vital things about real estate investment okay so for others who have been asking me and do you have ibejuleki land yes i have a lot of land in ibejuleki because i see ibejuleki as the future she like call it a papa or a keja. So years back, a lot of people didn't want to buy properties around this side. They wanted to buy properties in their own town. I mean, especially the Igbos. No, it's Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. Nigeria is going to divide. <laughs> so in all of this, Nigeria has not divided, right? Which means every other thing remains intact. And those who were able to tap in from these have benefited a lot more okay so guess what stop living on assumption there are times in your life you need to make some decisions that will change so many things in your life and that time could be now just as you're watching this video okay so for you, me to prove it to you that i have properties i'm not going to be showing you all my documents okay but i'll show you one just to let you know that i'm a great investor you can see that you can see my name right so this is the lawyer's um, stamp and this is the deed of assignment of the property and it's a great thing that i am investing i'm a very great investor i'm happy to be an investor and i'm hoping at that time we will all meet at the top <laughs> so we are going to be waiting ibejuleki land basically that's the bedroom i'm talking about is from the Dangote refinery down. Now the bedroom I'm talking about, we are all waiting until they appreciate. Okay? So if you're thinking of investment, it's also a great investment for you. You've got to realize that you need to tap, tap from some source so that at the time you want to reap this, you can reap this 
so good okay so i'm going to just cut this video off right now so if you have more questions please feel free to ask me a lot of more questions below i'll be willing to listen to you i'll be willing to get to hear from you i'll be willing to get your opinion and if you have more questions you're free to ask me at the below comment section but please go through the description box you will see my whatsapp link please you can chat me up directly and ask me a lot of more questions if you know this video has helped you please do a thumbs up by liking this video make sure you share with people you know you could help trust me there's someone out there that needs this video you need to share it with them so that they can really watch this and learn one or two things from it and if you have not subscribed to my channel hey 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 please hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time do post right on the hat tv follow us up on all of our social media platform and guess what i love you now and always bye bye